Hey guys, Cool Domino here. Um, today this will be a requested video um, from a YouTube user. He's wondering on how to get a siren like this one. This is an MS5 190. How to get it to run, wind down slower. And I have figured out a trick on how to allow it to wind up faster. And I'll get to that in a moment. And I'll tell you why. So, the things you're going to need is your siren, um, MS590, and this only works on DC sirens, so if you have an AC siren, that's not going to work for this. So, um, you're going to need some alligator clips, which I already have right here. You're going to need a capacitor. Um, this is a huge capacitor right here. You can see the information on there. It's a 60,000 microfarad capacitor. So, feel free to screenshot that. I'll give you a couple seconds to screenshot. And yeah, this is a huge capacitor. You're going to need one of these. Um, there are smaller ones as well, depending on your siren. This one here is a... Um, this one is a 33,000 microfarad capacitor, also at 50 volts DC. Just make sure you do not exceed this voltage rating right here. Otherwise, your capacitor may potentially blow up. And, that, and you don't really want that. So, um, now these capacitors are under the power supply that you're using, um, you might want to consider getting bigger capacitors. Um, you're also going to need a power supply right here. This is an iRobot fast charge power supply right here. If you can see that. Um, the information on the back. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is right here. So, if I go ahead and zoom in here. You can see my input voltage is 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, blah, blah, blah. That's standard power and your output power will be around 22 volts DC and it has a maximum current draw of 1.25 amps I could use my um, batteries which is currently in my panel right here you could use these batteries right here but these output a lot more current so if you want to do a slow wind down I recommend using this power supply because what I found out is the more limited you have your current Right here, the slower it would wind up until it gets a full power. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, so I'm going to set the camera down real quick, and I'm going to wire up the um, siren to your straight power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. So um, see here how my positive connected to my positive right here, and I use the zip tie to label it so I won't forget. My negative connected to the negative right here, which is not zip tie label right here. For this particular one is basically the one with the white stripes. You can see that right there. Sorry, where's my finger? There it is. Like these white stripes right here. So you have your power supply right here. I know my workspace is a mess right now, but I'm hoping I'm working on cleaning that up right now. So um, I go ahead and turn it on right here. Um, it's basically just going to act like a regular siren. You see right there, this particular siren has a very fast wind down. But there's an easy modification you can do to do that. And I'm going to set the camera down and I'll show you that right now. Alright guys, so you see here, I have the capacitor right here. You have to put it in parallel with the siren as you see here. Um, if you want a circuit idea, I could go ahead and put that on the screen now so you can get an idea. Um, what I've done, the circuit is actually created by me. So you want to have this in parallel, just make sure you have to make sure you respect the polarity of the capacitor, otherwise your capacitor may potentially blow up. As you see here, I have the positive lead going to the positive on the capacitor. Hard to see, but that's a positive. This doesn't have anything, and that normally means it's negative. And your positive wire, even though it doesn't really matter for this siren, but some, some other sirens may matter, you have to go to the negative on the siren right here. So now if I go ahead and turn it on now, this is what happens. And that is a lot slower wind down right there. Of course, if you want, you can add another capacitor in parallel as well. Or to add the capacitance up. Um, but it's up to you, depending on your siren and everything. The reason why this is happening is because as soon as I turn off the power to here, the power supply is no longer supplying power to the capacitor. Or to the siren. So basically, the only thing that's run keeping the siren from running is the capacitor. The capacitor is slowly discharging because the siren is loading the capacitor. So I go ahead and see if turn this on. So 
so yeah, that's pretty much how it works right there. So now I'm going to show you what happens just to compare to put it without the capacitor. So you can see I don't have it connected to the capacitor right now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see there's a significant difference compared to when I have it with the capacitor. So now as you see here, I have it on the capacitor. So that's pretty much the um, idea right there. Um, so shout out to the Coolmaster 100 for requesting this video on Broken Solar Panels video on the SD10. I was actually the first one who requested putting the, put the capacitor in parallel. So Broken Solar Panel, if you are watching this, um, do that to your uh, mini SD10 that you just made. So I can see what it looks like. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the end of this video. Again, big shout out to the Cool Master 100 for requesting that in from the comments on Broken Solar Panel's video of the mini SD10. And if you want to do any other video requests on what I should do, that's fire alarm, siren, weather radio related, um, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll scroll through them and try to get to you. And also, another way you can get a shout out is you can request a system on my system board right here. Choose any devices that you want. Um, most likely I'll choose the ones that I have, like my low frequency, horn strobe, my commander 4, etc. And along with the pulse station. You can choose your own pulse station as well. So, um, yeah, this will be a, hopefully be a future system test right here. So if you want a shout out, request a system test right here. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.